let's take a look at another defensive tackle, Maurice Hurst, six foot two, 280 pounds. Hasn't played in a couple years, tore a bicep. I like this signing a lot. It's low risk, high reward. What do you see when you look at Maurice Hurst? Well, I didn't play last year because of tore biceps. Uh, didn't, you know, coming out of the, uh, coming out of Michigan, uh, he had a heart issue that kind of kept him out of the combine, which I'm sure kind of scared some people away. But this is a guy with a high, high upside. He's got great, he can play inside or outside, which is big in Schwartz's defense. He can play in that three technique or that wide five or wide nine. Uh, he's got great burst. Um, he's got to stay healthy. Uh, you know, he's had 78 career tackles. He's had eight sacks. So, you know, as compared to some of the guys that they've had, he does have experience. And he's a guy, again, who can play multiple positions. Uh, I think he could be a rotational guy. He's a big body. He plays with really good leverage. Uh, he's got great lateral movement. He's very good with his hands. Uh, he's got a good pass rush plan, uh, plays the run very well. So there's some things that for me, I think it's about health with him uh, and then kind of finding the, the right, sometimes change of scenery kind of gets you in the right spot. But uh, again, a guy with a high upside um, and, and it's not, doesn't cost the Browns a lot. So I think it's a really good pickup. I agree with you. And the other thing is, is Jim Schwartz will identify what he thinks this player can excel and will ask him to do what he does well. Won't ask him to do the things he doesn't do. Uh, again, it's a rotational piece um, that you're trying to build out the defensive tackle room because Jim Schwartz wants to play seven, eight, nine defensive linemen. Absolutely. And that, you know, that rotation, those guys, uh, especially if he, you know, Schwartz will do a lot with situational stuff. So uh, big guys in there on first and second down, then rotate some guys in there on third down and some nickel looks and they'll use uh, multiple fronts with three down and four down and five down. So guys need to be uh, flexible in their positions. They need to be flexible with their techniques. And these guys they're bringing in are all doing that. And they all have experience. So they understand blocking NFL blocking schemes. 